Hey everyone, this is Peter with GoodyReader.com and this is the PDF experience on the Lightbook Mimas. First, we will start with the stylus because the beauty of this thing is that if you're opening a PDF with the stock app, the Boyu OS app, uh, is what it's called, you can start writing immediately. So you can turn a page, start writing immediately, turn back, start writing immediately. It's very high quality, it's very instant, it's like a DPT, except this thing can do a hundred times more things than a DPT, so it's really cool. You have stroke erasure, I'm not why they call it that, but you can do individual erases like that, stroke by stroke, or you can just click the erase all and it wipes the page clean. You do have ballpoint pen, and you have pen, which is the ink pen. The ink pen's really cool because you can use the hairlines or you can press down and get a thicker bleed and that will give you a little bit more customization when you go and circle things and annotate your medical documents and whatnot. You can erase all, erase all. You also have very fine, fine, medium, and crude. You also have white, which is really cool because if you do need to annotate on a black section like this, you can do that, so that's really cool as well. You can do it to the point where you're actually erasing some of the PDF itself, so be careful. Um, this thing does have the ability to have your hand on the screen and still write, so you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to turn on any uh, ban mode of any kind, and you can erase all that like so. A lot of people were asking us on this, I need to annotate my medical documents and whatnot. Can I export them? Well. Yes, you can. If I circle uh, Bryant, I don't know who that is, I'm sorry, and you know, I say, oh, he's 100%, uh, you know, stats for the year or something, all I have to do is click this right here, and I can export all pages, which is 237 pages, the current page I'm working on, save it to local PDF, which means it'll save it to this device's onboard storage, or it'll go over to Evernote, which you can save it to Evernote. It accesses it through the browser, so you don't need to worry about ha actually having to have the app installed on here. You do have some things down here that will do shallowest, shallower, original, deep, and deepest. So if I go deepest contrast, the blacks are gonna go super black, and if I go shallowest, it's gonna be a little lighter. So that's the one, personally, I like to choose. Now we'll go over to another page here, tap the middle, and go to the three dots here. This is really nice because you can change not only the gray scale, but you can also change the brightness of the white. So you can see now the background white is now super stone gray, and you can change it on the fly like that. And the beauty of this is that it changes all 237 pages in a second. That's the speed of this thing, and that's why it's so quick, is because that's that's what it's capable of basically uh, you don't have many more options there except for um, being able to crop the page fit to width fit to uh, corners watermarks and landscape orientation because this thing doesn't have a gyroscope you won't be able to turn it to landscape when you tilt it so you have to rely on the UI if you click on the little gear you have some reading settings this was very similar that you would see in the ebook ways to change pages auto page turn and whatnot so that's about it for the actual writing experience but it doesn't stop there you can actually put the stylus down and still use this device with your fingertips. You can long press on words to define it, copy, underline, annotation, wiki, translation. Yes, you can make annotations on side-loaded content. The keyboard pops right up, write my name out, cancel that because I don't really want it there, but just showing you you can. Tapping the top right corner does a little dog ear because it makes a uh, bookmark for you and um, you can do some pinching and zooming as well so pinching and zooming is a little bit slow at first and that is because you have a very large PDF but if you scroll the top down and turn a2 mode on a2 mode lowers the quality of the photos themselves but allows you to change pages quicker uh, pinch and zoom quicker and it uh, it basically doesn't take uh, all the time, all the animations and all the processing that needs to be done every time you turn a page with the A2 mode off. You can see the page turn animations are gone now and the pinching and zooming is much quicker. The downside is you get a lot more staining and you do get lower quality photos, but you can just turn that on or off anytime you want by tapping the top right there. 
So this has basically been the PDF experience on this device. Yes, you can annotate. Yes, you can export. Yes, you can use your fingertip or the stylus for this. If you guys want to see anything else on this device, go over to youtube.com slash goodyreader or drop us a line at um, you know, Facebook or uh, Michael at goodyreader.com, Peter at goodyreader.com or sales at goodyreader.com and say what you want to see. If you want to see comparisons, uh, you know, other reviews on this, let us know. The sky's the limit for goodyreader.com. This is Peter.